49ers going to do for welcome back to another 49ers recap. Today, I'll be recapping the 49ers versus Minnesota Vikings game. If you guys are new to this channel, start to the channel. Like to you guys are enjoying, let's go right into the recap. As you guys see on the screen right here, the 49ers end up losing to the Minnesota Vikings 22-17. to The 49ers dropping their second game in a row on the road once again, this time to the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, the 49ers was, just, was not looking good at all today. I feel like um, the 49ers first drive started off good, got an interception on Kirk Cousins. But after that first drive, Kirk Cousins was doing whatever he wanted versus this 49ers defense. This 49ers defense is not as good as last year's defense. It looks way more different with Steve Wilkes under under control of this defense. I do think it's a good defense, but not as good as last year's defense with D'Amico Ryans. Shout out to him, the brand new Houston Texas head coach. But yeah, this defense just struggled. Um, Kirk Cousins had 378 passing yards with two touchdowns. He did throw that pick. Tredavious Ward, um, he had the pick, just took it away from Jordan Addison. That was that was a good way to start the game. But then Christian McCaffrey came, came down, fumbled the ball, and then it was just not looking good. McCaffrey fumbled on the first drive. And then after that, it was just all bad for the 49ers. Jake Moody misses another field goal. But Moody did come back and drew a 55-yard field goal later on in the game. But let's get to the key reasons why the 49ers lost this game. Reason one was the 49ers missed so many tackles to start the game. Even even at the uh, second half, they were still missing tackles. The missed tackles are big. We needed to clean that up. We needed uh, secure tackles. Fred Warner was doing everything he could, uh, jumping over the whole offensive line to tackle Kirk Cousins on the QB sneak. Absolutely amazing play by Fred Warner. But the missed tackles were a big part of this reason why the 49ers are not doing good on defense. Another one is the defense is Today, you did not get a third down stop. We did get a third down stop when it mattered, but the third downs was big. Got to get off the field on third downs. This defense got to be better on third downs. The flags was also big. The flags in the cornerbacks, Davis Ward, uh, uh, Isaiah Oliver, Demo, just big flags called on them today. This is not what we need in such a close game. No pressure by uh by the 49ers at all. Kirk Cousins was just sitting in the pocket. When we were getting pressure, we were not finishing it with sacks. I should say no sacks on Kirk Cousins because he had a clean game. It's like zero times. Brock Crow was only sacked one time, but we're talking about the defense right now. And then the turnovers were big. Talking about offense. Two turnovers for Brock Purdy. One fumble from Christian McCaffrey. Jordan Addison also cut the 49ers say He had seven catches, 123 yards, and two receiving touchdowns. He is a big part of why the 49ers lost this game. Also, TJ Hawkinson was big. He had 11 catches, 86 yards, and then Brandon Power at the uh, end of the game, he was coming up big on third down, second down for the Minnesota Vikings. He had four catches, 64 yards. The 49ers' best performer was... Uh, on offense, was Rose Kittle with five catches, 78 yards. I wouldn't see more from Brandon Ayuk. With no D ball, need, we need BA to step up. Five catches, 57, uh, 57 yards only. Jawan Jenny had similar stats, five catches, 54 yards. McCaffrey was the big part of this offense. Three catches, 51 uh, yards, and one touchdown with 45 rushing yards and one rushing touchdown. The defense, even though they missed a lot of tackles, Fred Warner to end up with 13 tackles. Ray Greenwald end up with 10. Both of them are tackling machine. Both of them are so good. If, when Dre Greenwald is on the field and healthy, he is a straight baller. When Fred Warner is on the field and healthy, he is a straight baller. Both of them should make the pro ball this year. They're both all pro in my opinion. But yeah, that's going to do it for my recap. The 49ers versus Viking recap. The 49ers have a big game coming up on Sunday versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Must bounce back game for them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Like to be guys enjoying. I'll see you guys in the next one.